Yesterday, Colonel Mark Jablo took command of the United States Air Force Nuclear Command, Control, and Communications Center under the authority of Global Strike Commander General Robin Rand. It's important for our nation because it's really, as I said, the national command and control system. It's going to be a worldwide system used by the President, by the Secretary of Defense, and other leaders. Our adversaries are modernizing, and we need to make sure we modernize. The NC-3 Center falls under Air Force Global Strike Command and provides technical and operational support to maintain communication links between the National Military Command Authority and the nuclear warfighters of the Air Force. The Center's mission is to ensure that national leadership has a survivable, secure, and resilient communications path for issuing nuclear orders to warfighters. The Air Force is responsible for 70 percent, approximate, of the NC-3 systems and uh, we're, we're taking this job seriously and we're going to make sure that the focal point that is the NC3 center is, is here and, re and ready to work and uh, make sure the system does not fail because it can't. The nation's NC3 systems are vital for the president to collaborate with combatant commanders and communicate his authorities to the nuclear command. The new Air Force NC-3 Center will streamline management of 62 different Air Force NC-3 weapon systems and improve the sustainment and modernization of communication links between the President and the nuclear forces, ensuring we maintain flexible and responsive nuclear deterrence for the 21st century. Reporting from Barksdale Air Force Base, I'm Airman First Class Tony Rodeback.